Hey guys, welcome back to Beard Canics Garage Project to Rat Episode 4. In this episode, I'm going to bring you up to date with the bits and bobs that I've done off camera. I know I've been naughty and I we will basically strip the inside of the two rat and maybe that will be it or maybe no you need to watch to find out oh and we finally got a wire sticker for this one big one for the rear and wirely beeped for the front all right Let's start with the easy job, putting the sticker on there. I have no idea whether the light is good or not. Here, my face is all black if I look at the screen. It's because I'm mysterious, guys. Anyway, my bosh, that will do. But to some extent, I could do the bigger one, but I still need to put a beard canix on there. But beard canix, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe spray painting it or roasted. Beard canix roasted with the YouTube icon, obviously. And then basically, yeah, roasted branding. Mm -hmm. All right, let's actually do some proper work, shall we? I'm not going to show you how to remove everything in this, uh, because, you know, if it's difficult, I'm not caring about the inside on, on this, so I might not remove everything the right way, if you know what I mean. But what I can do is do you a little time lapse but you know let's just try to see if i can get that music going that remove on the stream those sides are actually like so bolted on compared to the S3 it's mad I think that's a little airbag thing but yeah spiders loved it in there and the bag is just as bad I still have to remove this actually here yeah. just noticed so the little box on the tools get attached. But yeah. And I've got an old Xbox 360 on a bunch of spare monitor. So basically at the back I'm thinking to set one up. I don't know, maybe one on the boot, you know, that hangs or when the boot is closed or not decided on you know, I will go with the flow. But I've literally got everything to hook it up so but I'll do a specific episode for that. Anyway, now let's move on to the door cards so that we can then move on to the side trim and remove this stuff. Look at that. He's not happy there. Ooh. All right, so a few days have actually passed since the previous clip. And uh, yeah, well, it's just been a busy week on the non-car related so it's been hard to find time but as you can tell there is more stuff removed i've been sneaking in five minutes you know a few minutes here and there take one bit on another so now all the trim on the side here has been removed the seat has been removed both door card on this side have been removed the trim on that side too so basically what I was going to do next is remove that seat so I can finish to remove all of the carpet and then we can finally remove the roof as well, roof line here on here the central console as you, yeah, I've started to like 
take it apart as well but basically there was some screws on the side and stuff so it'll just be easier to like take the seat out take the central console out dashboard and stuff i don't have mega plan for now so i'm going to more or less leave it alone i think what i might do though is just remove the trim around the gearbox shift as well so that we can expose the gearbox mechanism because that looks really cool raw as well so but yeah It's gone. Uh, it looks like a bit of plywood, but it's actually saw some of like foam or whatever. I don't know if it's for soundproofing, insulation, or what. So, no, this time it actually look quite nice. Look, you've got like pipes coming out of each side, which I think looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I guess if you wanted now, you could probably access the roof rack, but again, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. You can see the airbags. But yeah, it was quite a, quite a lot of effort. And you know what, guys? Build quality-wise, if you haven't seen and you're just following this, I basically started to strip my Audi S3 8V. I've only done the rear and I can tell you what this, the Touran, is definitely stronger build material are harder the clip was still so solid more hardware used to secure everything like it's a lot more work basically stripping the Touran like even if you were going to like say the same amount of part if you know what I mean yeah a lot more effort and it's definitely on there a lot more like the door cards the door cards were mad like the clips on there are crazy like you know on the audi you could you know apart from like obviously you've got few bolts but all around the door cards you can pretty much just like yank them all with no effort you remove the bolts and you know the stuff comes out in the Touran, not quite like that no no so yeah it's been quite a journey so here yeah, I still need need to actually remove the base frame as well in order to remove all of the carpet. Look here it's storage and if you've got any ideas on what to do with them, so what I thought is one obviously could reuse as storage or could try to do something funky with it. What about I either thought soil and then just some grass or whatever and then in the summer you could even like flowers or plant or whatever you know not rat but out there if you know what i mean or what i thought might be cool is actually tons of rusted tools or bolts and stuff like that so we basically fill it all up with rusted stuff and then pvc glass on top or but i don't know it might the result might not be as good just pour resin into it let it solidified and then basically you've got well you essentially have a flat floor but you've got decoration because obviously you've got storage here storage here so that might be cool on here this one here what i think to start with there you go struggle to open it now this 
for soil with plants on a few cactuses. Because huh? you know, <coughs> that's what you want when you're driving cactuses close to your face. You know, and then you just basically really cross your finger every time that nobody bash into you. Thankfully, there's still an airbag, so the airbag should, in theory, deploy quick enough for you to not get stabbed by the cactus. But I don't know, because to me it feels a bit of touch of like extreme on stupid, which I think is quite right. But anyway, let me know your suggestion down in the comment below can be as crazy as you like. Remember, still need to be functional as a family car where it's all done. But uh, yeah, otherwise you can look as mad as we want. And after removing the seat, and having a quick look in the Audi, it's definitely the same bolt on the same size. And being from the Vag group, even though there is quite a lot of years between them, I'm crossing my fingers that the holes are actually in the same location and that basically the S3 seat can just bolt right on top of that. We, we will see when I get them out. I need to check the width and everything as well, but I don't know, you would have think it's something standard and not something they change, you know, every model or, or anything like that. But anyway, we, we shall see. Because obviously, if you don't have to adjust them, it'll be really good. And yeah, after dashboard, as you can see, the console is sort of removed. Look at those little pipes for the venting. I'm actually going to leave them there. You know what, they might actually... It's just like uh, the right surround. Actually look nice, just shooting out like that, couple of holes. And uh, yeah. I still haven't figured out, I've tried to like screw it and screw it, but, but yeah, it's a lot sexier, but yeah, need, need to still remove that stuff here, you can see you still have a couple of screws there, but it's nearly out as well. And yeah, like I said, dash, I will keep it like that for now, oh yeah, I need to remove the door card at the front as well. Oh, and look, door card here, all you have is a little hook. So here again, what I was thinking, look, here we've got perfect little bolt, little mount here, so we can hold this there, and then something funky to add at the end of it. It's a shame I don't have any, because plenty of small baseball bat to some extent would have been cool, which you can unhook as well. But in rat spirit, if I go to the house in France, I have in the dependency tons of rusted tools, and maybe tools, you know, so just a rusted tool on each door, and basically you yank on it, that's how you open your door. Again, very, very safe. The thing you want when you crash is a bunch of rusted tools surrounded you, and then you want that to be what you need to pull on to get out of the car. Safety first, safety first. As you can tell, the carpet is off, from those look in the end, I thought it might have been a recess in the body, but they literally just put a frame there, so we can actually remove the frame, and then we've got a lot more area. So it looks pretty cool, nice and raw. Then some stuff, you have to sort out something here for the specialist, the driver floor might want to like you know sort out a plate or something to kind of make it nice and flat because you know you probably sort of want a flat floor to be honest probably on that side too but you've got a lot less going on but what we could do is probably just have a yeah a plate of some kind or you know i mean we'll go with the floor Oh, that stuff, I said I kind of like them, but starting to go a bit. Mind you, if we get rid of it, the colon will look a lot better. And we still have those vents there. So, central ones are pretty pointless unless you're the guy sitting in the middle and that won't happen. So, we could always get 
Oh, he does that. Oh, you know, he wants to lip plug something. Cooler there. Uh, it's a pile of stuff. I mean, some of it I have to keep for now. Some of it uh, we won't eventually. So, but yeah. Uh, What do you guys think? Should I bother weighing all of that? Because um, I mean, I reckon you've dropped a fair amount of weight. Which all in all, even though this is not a performance car, will give her better acceleration or on long family trip, uh, better miles per gallon. So better economy. But yeah, no, let me know. But yeah, considering like if you go with the setup I want, which is basically S3, S3 seat, couple of other Audi seat, and then, or oh, then, actually, come up with a pretty sick plan for the rear, actually. So, as you know, or if you don't know, here you've got multiple points. So, basically, in the tour and here, you can have three seats, which is like two full seats on each side, and slightly smaller in the middle. Or if you don't use the middle, you can offset the side seat slightly more. So basically, people have more room this way and more room that way. Hold on, let me close the door. There we go, because the wind is coming up. So my thinking was using the mounting point from the middle. And then as you can see, we've got more point. There we go. Too big one here. That's what I actually use for the rear seat. Put a plate there with the rail so the seat can essentially maybe even squeeze between those two seats. Or if it doesn't, just have it at the rear. But the idea is have it a five seater but on three row. The third row, it's only a single seat, it's not as far back as the others, it's center, but it's got the leg room between those two seats. And then what I want to do is put that back chair on the pivot, so that basically, you know, you can have it facing forward during traveling, but then if you want, you can make it face back when you're at a car meet or whatever. What would be awesome is that the seats on this row did that too. So basically you've got like one at the rear, two at the front facing that way. But then when you're at the car meet, you can stop, rotate all three seats and everybody can chill out. Still plenty of leg room pointing forward. And I don't know if you can see next to the mess over there. That's my nan's old TV and I've got an old Xbox 360. On the TV is actually on the mount, so what I'm going to do is mount an Xbox 360 at the back of the Turan. So basically, you can imagine that all the lighting is crap there. So basically, as you can imagine, you know, an issue I've got with like car shows on car meet sometimes is, you know, after a while the kids get bored because I've got people to chat with here and there, but you know, they, they don't necessarily, and once you look at the car, you know, you, that's it, bloody wind. Doesn't help that uh, I've got the remote in my pocket, and sometimes it just keep on opening the window. Can I close them all with the button though? Oh, you need to press on all it. It's beautiful, but yeah, so basically, you know, that will be a pretty sweet. So, you arrive, you park, you rotate the seat, you put the Xbox on, you move the monitor in front of your face, and then you know, you just chill out on game. You know, what I mean, I've got a good camping fridge as well, which we could hug there, it can actually even freeze stuff. And what I like to do is maybe like next to the middle seat on each side a couple of dog baskets because I've got two dogs as well. So yeah, 
But yeah, no, so plenty of uh, good plan. The uh, obviously the seat on all it's going to take a while. Front seat is probably going to be the uh, might be not the quickest actually. Might my I mean, front seat might be the quickest. We will see. Maybe uh, I might be able to get Rob's car seat before I can get mine. I don't know. It depends whether um, you know if I get. Uh, spare cash to buy the Audi S3 front seat to start with skirt case so you know they're not expensive but just bought a house so you know I don't have spare cash <laughs> uh, you know so if you know anybody at Kirk who would like to sponsor a really cool Audi S3 you know just let them know <laughs> but yeah anyway it, it will come eventually but um, Xbox that I can set up already on you know I've got plenty plenty to crack on with the turret anyway all right well i'm probably going to stop it here guys i mean i haven't done the dot card yet but it's pretty much going to look like that except it's going to be a front door and yeah let me know if you want to do like you know i can just do a, a quick episode on weighing everything or i can weigh everything and you know just talk about how much weight i actually removed last time because without with that new configuration, we remove the number of seats. On the third row on this car was like so heavy as well because you got a plate underneath and all that jazz. So I reckon even in like the five seat situation, and with Audi seat, the the two hand seat are so heavy. The front one are really, really mad. I reckon the Audi one will be um, lighter. So I reckon overall we will lose some weight, which considering the price of fuel, you know doesn't hurt to uh, save a bit of uh, fuel, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let me think actually, I, I, I need to do a 0 to 60 video on the quarter mile in the Turan. Just, you know, just so we know, just so we know, it's important stat. And for a laugh, should I do it in my partner's car? Renault Modus Automatic 4 speed 1.2 liter a Reaper. <laughs> if you take your corner right, you can actually make the rear tire squeal like on most cars, which is quite fun. Although my partner doesn't always agree, but never mind. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the Project to Hat and you're not subscribed yet, please do. You should be able to see everything that's going on with it also granted uh, i don't record everything everything There's plenty of little stuff going on with this project uh, i'm i don't know i've been wondering but whether setting up an instagram page for it but pff, so crap at instagram I, I, I should probably not multiply the account you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah anyway thanks for watching to the end guys if you have any suggestions or ideas, just DM me, put them in the comments, whatever. Like I said, just feel free to suggest anything, you know. And yeah, just thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me. But you know what I mean. All right.